What's good, Skins fan? It's your man, Ed Oliver. Not the one from the Bills, but the one that is a huge Skins fan. Great man, Dilly Dilly. What's good, y'all? Happy Friday today. Um, I'm hoping everybody's enjoying their day. Um, so, of course, everybody, if you haven't seen the reports, um, there's been reports. Um, talking about Josh Norman. Let me fix my hat real quick. Um, talking about Josh Norman. Uh, I think he went on the Rich Eisen show or something like that, and he uh, talked about David Gettleman. But my first, my real question about this video is, is: Should we cut Josh Norman? Of course, there's been rumblings. Um, people might have wanted to cut Josh Norman last year. People want to cut him now and stuff like that. You know, he's he's probably one, the highest paid person on this team, other than Alex Smith. Um, I forgot who else has a really big deal. I know Jordan Reed has a big deal, but besides all that, he, he's a big cap hit. He's a huge, huge cap hit. Now, has Josh Norman performed ex, up to expectations to his Panthers days and to what his contract entails? No, he hasn't. Has he been on Dancing with the Stars? Has he been on NFL on Fox? Has he done basically inter, any, any interview that you possibly can? Yes, he has. That's the knock on Josh Norman. He's it, Sometimes he's kind of Hollywood, and D'Angelo Hall said it, um, I think Fred Smoot was Fred Smoot was a little really harsh on Josh Norman. Fred Smoot, you know, he was on the JP Finn League podcast. I listened to it. Fred Smoot is always going on current players. He he has no filter whatsoever. I don't blame him for that. But sometimes it's like, come on, man. Like, you play the game, you know. I don't want you to be soft on the guys. But and I like how honest he is, but sometimes it's like, come on, man, you come off kind of like a you kinda like a hater. Like Fred Smoot, what did you really do? What did you I like Fred Smoot a lot. I'm a big fan of Fred Smoot, and you know, we all remember what he did with the Vikings, with the boat thing, and all that. I'm not gonna get into all that, but you know, sometimes what he can say, sometimes he's just a little annoying. For him. he can be a little annoying. I, I like Fred Smoot a lot. I think he's very entertaining, but sometimes he can be very, very annoying. He really can, with that country accent. But um, Josh Norman, man, let's let's get into him. You know what he's done. He hasn't made. I don't think he's made any Pro Bowls while he's been at Redskins. Hasn't made All Pro. None of that. Um, you know, he had a really bad – he had some bad games last year. You know, I think he's been solid for the for the most part. But for cutting him, I don't think we should cut him. I don't think we should cut him because if we cut him, who who else do we have at corner? You know, I like I like Quentin Dunbar, but he's injury prone with a nerve injury. I like Fabian Moreau. I like Jimmy Moreland, the rookie that we just drafted. I like um, Stroman here and there, you know. But none of those guys – are even nearly as talented as, as what Josh Norman really is. I mean, Josh Norman is still a solid corner for what he's done. He, you know, if you put him on a one-on-one -on -one against the Giants, he actually did a good. He actually did a good job against Odell Beckham. I'll give him that. He did a good job against Odell Beckham. And I'll get into what he said about David Gettleman. You know, he, he went on the Giants GM because you know he has the the history against um, David Gettleman. David Gettleman was the GM for the Panthers. If you didn't know, he let Josh Norman walk. Basically, let Landon Collins walk, and now he drafted Daniel Jones instead of drafting Dwayne Haskins. So that's why um, Josh Norman is making fun of David Gettleman and saying we need to thank David Gettleman. We need to pay David Gettleman and thank him so much for letting uh, these guys go to the Redskins, which, you know, Landon Collins, hopefully it does work out. Josh Norman hasn't really worked out to the contract structure to the amount of money that we've been paying him. But for the most part, like I said, Josh Norman has been solid. He's been solid. He's one of the few stars that we have on our team, one of the guys who's basically can be a face of the franchise. So I don't think we should cut Josh Norman. I don't think we should. If there's any veteran that we might cut that I wouldn't be mad at, probably be Mason Foster and Vernon Davis. Those are probably the June 1st cuts that I would possibly think about making to save uh, money, save cap space. Now, I don't like cutting Josh Norman. That just that wouldn't help. Now, like I said, am I disappointed in Josh Norman's play for the contract and for all the hype and stuff? Yeah, there's no person on this earth that can say they're not disappointed in what Josh Norman has done on the field. Josh Norman has not been what he was on the Panthers, point blank, period. And that's a fact, man. That's a huge, huge fact. Um, but I just want to get on here and hear you guys' opinion about that. You know, what should, should we cut Josh Norman? Uh, what do you guys think? I know there's a lot of people who want to cut Josh Norman and let him go so we can save cap space, but I don't think that really helps us. I don't think that helps us because we just, we're, not, we're not that deep at the quarterback position. We're really not. We're not that deep. And I really like this defense with Josh Norman and um, Quentin Dunbar as our two starting receivers. 
And then, hey, I mean, we'll see what Jimmy Moreland does. You know, the draft pick, the six, seven, draft, seven round draft pick out of uh, out of James Madison. Let's let's see what he does. I know he's five foot nine, so he's really small. But let's see what he can do, man. We had a guy in Kendall Fuller who was a shut, who was considered to be a shutdown corner. We traded him away, so you know, we'll see, we'll see, man. But I don't think we should cut Josh Norman. It's a no for me. That's a no. That's a big, big no for me. Um, I'm thinking about coming out with t-shirts. Um, let me know what y'all think, man. I'm thinking about coming out with a t-shirt for real. I'm thinking about some ideas. I got some stuff cooking up, man. I'm thinking about coming out with a t-shirt for real. Um, I might post that in, in the next coming weeks for real. And um, just got news, too, that the Redskins are the betting favorites for hard, for hard knocks. We are the betting favorites. Like I said, I wouldn't mind being on Hard Knocks. I really wouldn't mind. I already made a video about Hard Knocks, so I'm not going to get too much into that. But uh, if we are on Hard Knocks, it will be very interesting. I know everybody wants to see Dwayne Haskins in the quarterback battle. I know everybody wants to see Darius Geis, Adrian Peterson, the veteran, and a lot of guys. They want to see Josh Norman, too. Josh Norman, is, is a, he's a very interesting guy. He's very, I think he's weird, but he's a very interesting guy. He's a very interesting guy, to say the least. I think he is an entertainer. He's very entertaining on Dancing with the Stars and basically is an NFL analyst on Fox when we have the bye week and when he doesn't play. Um, he's a freaking reporter. So um, we'll see. But like I said, nah, I, I say no to cutting Josh Norman. I think we need I think he can be solid on this team. He helps our defense to be solid. And that's one corner that we can count on to throw out there and put on the number one receiver. So uh, I wouldn't cut Josh. We just don't, we're not deep enough to do, to do something like that. We're not deep enough. We don't have enough talent around to do something like that but like i said let me know what y'all think um hell to them skins hell to the wizards all right y'all peace